Hey guys, it's Galaxy Gorilla, and I'm coming at you with a new game. This is going to be a new series on the channel. I'm going to be playing some Lords of the Fallen. I'm not here by myself, though. I'm actually playing with my good buddy, Mr. Ethan. Condemned. I'm not playing Condemned, Ethan. So, before we get into this, I do want to just go a little, a little uh, review on our history of this these types of games. Uh, me and Ethan are avid, I guess, Souls-like enjoyers. We've, uh... Say we've, that. We've both beaten what? We beat one, two, and three. We beat. Yeah. Did you beat Bloodborne? I've beaten Bloodborne a couple times. Okay, so we've both beaten Bloodborne. I did not beat Sekiro. Did you beat Sekiro? Multiple times. Okay, and then we've both beaten Elden Ring. So yeah, we've we've definitely got history with these types of games. And when the new Lords of the Fallen was announced, I was actually really excited. Because uh, the old one was terrible, like really bad. So, and this one's not that bad. I, I like it. I never I, played the old one, but I hope the uh, the like the internet's been fixed because this game be a was... little janky, but I think we'll be all right. Probably. Ages past, distorting self-delusion into faith. A few obtaining the revelations they so desperately seek. In a conflict between the divine, are mortals mere pawns? Whether the flesh of gods or death itself, all will be consumed. For she must feed. This is a bad night to walk through the woods. That's some cool armor. I wish I had that armor. It's pretty sick. Yeah, it's like nightmare monster flying through the trees. Boris, forgive me. I'd steer this weapon of deliverance to a worthy That's a pretty cool lantern. I wonder if it's going to be important. This guy's definitely gonna survive. Oh look, it's the nightmare monster. And he just <laughs> he instantly dies. Poor man. You never possessed the metal for this crusader. You failed. Dude, you're in his personal space, bro. And oh oh my god. <laughs> just total head lob. about breast cancer. My bad. Nah, you're good, bro. We gotta raise awareness, don't we? Yeah, they're asking for money. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so what uh what kinda what kind of builds are should we do? Might do an exiled stalker. That is a class that I do not have yet. This oh, is wait, the class mind. I will no, be playing mind. as. Never mind, I do have Exiled Stalker. What up? Uh... Well, the other one, mm -hmm. you should have all of them right now. At least all the base ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I, I think I do. Orion Creature. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, I uh, our, our other done run... Orion and Pyrek. Yeah, I've done those two classes. So, yeah, I'll do something different. <laughs> uh, what is the... Our Morn... Crusader's fun. What is the Mornstead Infantry? It's like a spear and a shield. A seasoned Mornstead foot soldier whose time in the mud and blood and tumult of battle taught them the value of agility, speed, and keeping the enemy at a distance. A class for those who favor dexterity and light defense over strength and bulkier armor. Uh, what is a Partesian? A dutiful, a strong and dependable all-rounder class. Okay, so this is like the middle ground. Uh, Udiranger, war, uh, Warwolf. Okay, this is the strength build. Got it. Strength build. And then Hollowed Knight is just your fat boy. 
take lots of damage. Okay. Um, you know what? I think I'll give uh, I'll give uh, the Mornstead Infantry a try. Seems like a neat class. I like. Uh, I don't really use spears too often in these types of games, so why not? Why not? Yeah, bro. Try something new. I don't know, Ethan. Are you a head A, head B, or head C kind of guy? I went head C. That is fair, I agree. I feel like head C is just kind of the better option. Went, like, in the middle. That's fair. <clears throat> I feel like when it comes to, like... I feel like you don't have hair when you're in these types of worlds. Cause what if, like, I mean, you have, like, what if you have like a long ponytail and the monster like reaches out and like yanks on it? <laughs> that, 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 that never happens. That's fair. <laughs> you gotta... it's, it's plausible. <laughs> Bald with the giga beard. Dude, that beard has flowers in it. I think I gotta rock the flower beard. Dude, I think it's better than the flower beard. Obviously, we need a hot tattoo. What kind of tattoos you got for me, game? We have a lot of them, apparently. And they're all very hard to see. Can't even fucking see any of them. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put my lunch in the fucking oven. Do they, like, attach together? It does not seem like they do. Getting tatted up. I think, yeah, okay. I, I don't think I'll be able to see any of the other ones just because of the fact that they are, like, much darker. Um. Hmm. I think you can make them lighter. <laughs> Maybe. That's what we have to do. Is it like it? Yeah, I think it's like increasing saturation is how you like see them better. Never mind. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just wrong. Is it brightness? No, brightness is like the color of it. I would assume it's intensity, and that's already at the max. So I assume it doesn't like get any better. Okay. Dude. Yes. It's you just gotta hit the random button. Hit the random button? I don't know. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, the game, like, freaked out for a second. I, like, scrolled it all the way up to muscular, and he became, like, really skinny. <laughs> Ooh, my medicine. I can pick up my medicine. Okay. Do I need to No, I don't need to tour. So I haven't played this game before. Change name. What should I name this man? Your name will be Dervish. You are Dervish the Mornstead Infantryman. I like that better. Xbox uh, decided to re recommend me the name Fergus. He will now be Fergus yes. the Infantryman. Fergus. What a great name. I will name be... my child Fergus. <laughs> yeah. I remember how to play this game already. I think it's pretty, like, standard. It's just, like, there's also the lantern. You know what I mean? Well, I meant more of, like, attacking the and sprinting. Law. Oh, that's true. The latest receiver of his grace. Who is this weird man standing over me? Great potential dwells with your father. Me, doubtless. It's my father? For you to be chosen thusly. And so does Aureus wisdom guide my hand in the bestowment oh. of this subsequent boon. He put the flashlight in my eyes. Your flesh has been made sacred You're blind now. with the mark. Oh, the and like, now you have to go the entire game blindfolded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're funny. Prove yourself worthy Easy. of this gift. Seek me in the bowels of the bridge. 
our work is of the greatest import. Dude, as like homie peels out and like leaves me here, comatose. He's like, oh, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. The monsters won't eat you alive. I promise. It's when you pull an Uno reverse card and you start eating them. You know what? That's a fair choice. Okay, so obviously we have the lantern, but I think the lantern mechanic is awesome. Like the whole like other world within the world type deal. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, I don't think I've ever really seen that in a video game before. Well, this is the only one. Well, probably not, but... Dude, I have a javelin instead of magic? That's sick. I wonder how many of those I have. I gotta be careful. I don't want to, like, waste my resources and stuff. I'm about to jump. Isn't it like, uh, not that bun. with, like... Oh, it is just a just sprint a bad boy. Yeah, bad boy, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Chica, chica, pow, pow, pow. All right, all right, all right. There's all these stinky monsters here, and that's when you you pull out the lantern, and then you shine it, and then there's no water. Or you just be a man and swim through it. Don't you like die in water in this game? If it's deep enough. <laughs> Gotta make sure my pizza doesn't burn. Just put it in though. Okay, alright, alright. I'm kinda- I'm digging this spear weapon. It's pretty nice, just keeping them at a distance. Do I want to two-hand it, or do I want to keep knives. the shield out? Yeah, you're like a little dagger man, aren't you? Yeah. Don't worry, guys. We'll eventually link up with Ethan. We just have to go through the tutorial section first. Um, okay, I can't go this way, so which way do I need to go? Maybe I should have turned the tutorials on. You don't need it. No, it's not that way. Am I supposed to go somewhere else? Oh, almost just fell down into the pit. Like, do I go this way? I do apologize. It has been a it has been a hot minute since I've touched this game. I have to go into the Umbro world. Oh, do you? Yeah. Why? Do you have to go through the water? I don't know. Just to, like, break something. So that's, like, the big mechanic of this, uh, of this game. Is, like, you've got, like, the normal world, and then you've got the Umbral world. Well, when you're in the Umbral world, you get more souls, but, like, the trade-off is, is, like, if you look in the top right, there's, like, an eyeball. That eyeball will eventually open and it will start filling with a meter. If that meter reaches max, like, monsters will spawn. And, uh, I'm pretty sure death they're, monsters. like... Yeah, like, Giga Death Monsters. And, uh, I imagine they become fightable later on, but, uh, I do not think they're fightable right now. Everything's fightable. I mean, yeah, everything is fightable. But is it winnable? That's the real question. Yes. I, you know what, Ethan has, uh, Ethan's always been a champion of enthusiasm, so. Ooh, an item. Oh, I got a throwing rock. Hey, can I backstab I'm gonna you? come back outside your house and I start throwing rocks. You're gonna throw rocks at my house, man? Yeah. How could you? You got throwing rocks. I have a lacerating knife. And then we have like these little ugly things on the ground that essentially act as your way back to the normal world. And so eventually you'll just have to like run around Dude. and buy one. Why are you calling them ugly? Oh, I don't fuck. Know. They're like weird little kneeling men. They're beautiful. Don't ever tell don't ever let someone tell you you're ugly. No, I am uh do I have a throwing rock? 
I do have a wait, where is it? Did I not get the throwing rock? Why is it not showing up in my inventory? Okay, I guess I can't get that body with that item. I don't know what it is, but... Yeah, it shows up. Oh, I don't know. It wasn't showing up for me, so I couldn't see it. Oh, well, you're just bad at the game. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, an umbral entity prevents you from going through this door. Um, okay. I use my lantern so I can walk through a wall. And I poke this little man. Good poking. Hey, 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 mister. Hey, I got no beef with you. Keep your distance. You and your boyfriend. Ow! Nice dodge. This guy's got some reach on him. I killed one of them, and now their cross is spinning around like a Beyblade. Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip. Yeah, dude, he let it rip, bro. He wanted his cro his holy cross to kill me. Oh, 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 boy. My laundry. Get me out of the water. Get my, I to go get my laundry. <laughs> so, yeah, there are certain sections of the game that aren't traversable, so you, like, you're more or less forced to go into the Umbral World. And then you get like these little things that, like this, that more or less let you also do that traversal area because they block your pathway. Are there any monsters down there? Maybe? Probably? There's a meat store right there. I go poke him. Oh yeah, that's another thing I should probably explain. When you go into the Umbra world, if you look at my health bar, there's a little bit of white, and that's because of this, like, it's more or less like when you go into the Umbra world, it just saps your health for some reason. It's a little weird and a little annoying, but can't really do too much about that. No, that's the wrong button. Yeah, so you have to be better. You have to suck up these little orbs, and they'll give you souls if you break them. Dude, the Umbra world's so weird. Everything's awesome like everything's time. everything's gooey and finger. I don't know. I feel like I'd be really freaked out if I figured out the Umbra world was real. It is real. You just haven't died yet to experience it. Existential crisis. Good. You give you more. You give me more? I don't want more. I'll give you all of it. Not existentially crisis you more. Thank you. It's definitely what I need right now. Okay, and then I assume I have to jump down here. There's some little things. I have slain them. What is up this pathway? It does not look like it's any. It's just more orbs on the wall. Hold on, let me go back real quick. Okay, yeah, there's just nothing. Alright, that makes sense. Dude, your character hauls in this game. I forgot, like, how fast your character runs. Dude, oh, Usain Bolt sprinter, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's got places to be. I wouldn't have places to be if I was in this world. Alright. Oh my gosh. There's so many of these stupid things. Stop trying to range me, bro. You're not ranging anybody. Yeah, so when you're in the Umber world, these stupid, like, stick men spawn constantly. And, like, they're not really dangerous, but, like, sometimes the game will, like, try to be funny and spawn, like, you know, like, seven of them. And, uh, that's not really that fun, having, like, seven of them. Just grow seven arms. 
hold seven spears at once. It's not that hard. Ethan's gonna like rag on me throughout this whole playthrough. I can I'll tell you that much. Right, Ethan? You're gonna make it bad. Get a bad. Hold on. Dude, what? Oh I oh yeah, that's right, I gotta lock on to it. I forgot you could lock on to those. Oh the tree! Can I go through this door now? Ah, oh, I can. The abandoned red copes. Okay, yeah, and that'll take. This will bring us to our first bonfire, which is this: the um, the vestiges. And the vestige is like it's dead people. It's like it's your dead, it's your dead friends, like the previous holders of the uh, of the lamp. Yeah, I'll level up my agility once, why not? Okay, and this is also where I can pick Ethan up. Ethan, are you prepared to be picked up? Yeah. Alright, multiplayer, uh, Beck and a friend, and then where's your name? Kill switch. Beck and a friend. Ethan, have you been beckoned? Or do I have to do it through the game? Or through um, the yeah, I'm... Okay, okay. Uh, I'm coming. Alright, alright. So the multiplayer, let's hope with, uh, so I actually, when I went to go turn on this game to play with Ethan, uh, there was an update that was about a gigabyte big, so I'm hoping that update was, uh, them making the game a little less janky. What is your character's name, Ethan? I must know. What did you name him? Who is Fergus? Zoolander. Zoolander? I got you, bro. Zoolander and Fergus are adventuring together. Do a little little nap real quick, get my health back to full, and then we can go uh, kill the first boss. And I think that'll be good for this first video. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, item. Dude, a Tactus's journal, and then the map of Mornstead. Okay, so like most Souls games, you guys are gonna notice that. Um, us playing together is going to trivialize a <laughs> some of these bosses. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna try to donk me? Oh, you're gonna try to donk me, bro? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna distract him while Ethan harasses him from the front. This man will be able to do nothing about it. <laughs> Quick! Keep taking turns! Get him. Come on, Otto. You got nothing on up. <laughs> you don't let them get up. Oh, no. This is the guy from the first cutscene. Ethan, we're going to beat him right here, right? First try. First try? First try. You heard him here, chat. First try. I don't know why I said chat. I'm not streaming. <laughs> Give me that ram. No, it's mine. You can't have it. Even though your three-headed bat dragon is pretty rad. So basically, for this first phase, we can't really do anything against him. And we're kind of just stuck, like, running away from him. Oh, shit, ow. Oh. What is he doing? Does he, like, flop around, like, three or four times? Hmm, I don't know. A lot. No, because he eventually gets off the dragon. Ooh. Oh, that was an epic dodge roll. Yeah, 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 see, he's off the dragon. Give me that lamp. Give me the lamp. No, it's mine. Ah. Yeah! Okay. Oh. He's very fast and he takes no he takes no damage. Alright, come on. 
First try. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. It's not letting me revive you. Come on. What do you do? Ah! No, he's slicing me. Quick. I revive you. Why is it not letting me? Re I oh, I revive you. Ow, he stabbed me. You're back. <laughs> he's killing. He killed you immediately. That's not. Funny. Is that it? Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, then I come back with umbral power. This guy's having too much fun. Ow. Okay. You know what? We did less than a quarter of his health. But, as you know, with most of these games, the first fight is typically scripted, so getting killed is kind of normal. Dude, look at this guy. So wait, do you think those two just fought? Like, he, like, fought him away from us? Yeah. I wonder who that was. He's a dog. All right. Well, yeah, like I said, I think that's good for the first video. So I just want to say thank you, Ethan, for joining me, and expect this series every Sunday. That's the hope. Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's like, dude, it's like Monster Truck Arena. All right, well, anyway, you guys. You guys have a good weekend, and I'll see you guys next time. Galaxy Gorilla out. Oh, 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 oh.